away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> days of the western United States, the safety of a man's life and property often depended on the quickness of his draw, and the generation of pioneers soon became impatient of the law's delay. But the masked rider of the plains fought their vigilante committees and mob violence with the same strength and courage that he fought crime and criminals. He proved that justice could never live side by side with force, and finally brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beast of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Titusville! Thomas waiting on the trail ahead! Hi-ho, Silver! Away! <laughs> Jed Sampson, easygoing and rather slow-spoken, had arrived in the small western village of Titusville for the first time in his life just a week before. Liking the town, he had purchased one of its two general stores. The first day that the store was open for business, his competitor, Mace Johnson, was the first man to visit him and... Nice place you got here, Jed. <laughs> sure looks a heap better than I did when Clem was running it. Never seen such a lazy galoop. Let fly specks collect on the windows till you couldn't see through. <laughs> Glad you like it, Johnson. Mace is what my friends call me, Jed. I don't see no reason why we shouldn't be friendly. Shucks, there's room for both of us in town. I didn't know you'd take it that way. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Any business you can take from me, you're welcome to. You'll likely deserve it. To tell the truth, I'm real pleased you settled here. The right kind of competition keeps a feller on his toes. <laughs> if Clem had stayed on much longer, doggone if I wouldn't have got about as lazy as he was. Some fellas would resent my setting up again him. Well, I don't. <laughs> ah, see them folks just drove up in the buggy? Thought they'd be along. Yeah. Know them? The feller Shaw the banker, ain't he? Uh-huh, and that's his wife. Mighty fine woman. <laughs> sure a heap better liked around town than her husband is. Yeah? Being a banker, sure kind of fancies himself. Figures he's so much more important than the rest of us that we don't hardly count. <laughs> he's coming in now to give you the once-over. Don't really make you nervous. I ain't the nervous kind, Mace. You won't have no trouble with Mrs. Shaw. She's a dandy. Handsome woman. Ain't she, though? My, how nice and clean he has it. Very pleasant. Good morning, Mace. Morning. Morning, Miss Shaw. Hello, Mace. You're Jed Sampson, I suppose. That's me. That will introduce ourselves, I'm sure. Uh, heard of me, I guess. Uh-huh. This is my wife. Helen, meet Jed Sampson. 
You'll have to give him some of your business. How do you do, Mr. Sampson? Pleased to make your acquaintance, (laughs) ma'am. Well, Mace, you uh, drop in to size up this fellow? (laughs) Well, in a manner of speaking, you can say I did. Well, Jed, you'll find we're all good neighbors here. Finest little town in the state, Tattersville. Up and coming, too. You'll like it. Uh, where was your home before? Oh, please, Bob, you shouldn't ask such personal questions like that. I, I didn't think... I've I... got nothing to hide, ma'am. Mr. Shaw, I come from Salinas Way. I've been there. Nice country. Salinas. Salinas, Samson. It's funny. Seems somehow as though those two names are connected. Salinas. Hey, that's the hometown of Pook Samson. Uh-huh, it is. You, uh, you're not kin to him, are you? Bob, what an awful question to ask. Why, Pook Samson's one of the worst killers in the West. Yes, but, Mr. Uh... Shaw, my name's Samson, and so is Pook's. He comes from Salinas, and so do I. But there's a good reason for it. <laughs> uh, I didn't really think you were related. It just happened to strike me that... But I... we are. Uh, uh... Close related. Pokes my brother. Well, don't go on. Samson, did I hear you correctly? Did I hear you admit that Poke is your brother? You sure did, if you was listening. Hey, it's outrageous. Yeah. I never heard of such a thing. Bob, please don't Quiet, say Helen. anymore. So, Samson, you come to this town, admittedly, the brother of a notorious outlaw, and expect the decent citizens of Titusville to tolerate such... such absolute impudence. No, we can't. You're certainly not going to defend him, are you, miss? Why not? I don't know where he's done anything so terrible. If I had the brother he's got, I don't know that I'd go around boasting about it neither. Fact is, I don't know if I'd even have the nerve to come right out and admit it like Jed done. I won't have it. You're just working yourself up into a temper. Now stop it. I say I won't have it and I won't. You hear that, Simpson? I'll not stand for this. Break the law, did I? No debate. Your kind of trash isn't wanted here. Mister, if I was you, I'd take that back. And I'd take it back in a real big hurry. You... You dare to threaten me? You forget who I am? You No, don't. Don't fight, Mr. Sampson. I'm terribly sorry. Bob just doesn't know what he's saying. I... I want you to let me apologize for him. Helen! That's all right, ma'am. Just take him out of here. I ain't looking for trouble. But you'll get it. Bob, come on. Come on, Bob. I'm warning you, Sampson. Get out of Titusville. Shout so. Get out and stay out before I have you run out. There's a place for your kind, Samson, but it's not here. It's in the state prison. Well, Jed, there you are. Right pleasant, hombre. Oaks, really your brother, Jed? I ain't seen him in ten years, but he sure is. Doggone. I wish you could have kept that to yourself. I've kind of took a shine to you. I'd like to see you make good here. If I can't without lying and hiding who I am, I don't want to. Sure, I know. Some fellas are like that. Reckon you're one of them. Uh, But it's going to be mighty unpleasant. You think Shaw will really try to make trouble? Think it. I know it. Why? Don't ask me that, Jed. All I know is it takes all kinds to make the world. And Shaw's one of the kinds they could have left out. Shaw lost no time in spreading his indignation through the town. That Jed Sampson was a brother to Pope, the outlaw, was the most interesting news that the citizens of Titusville had heard in a long time. We can't let him stay. He's a disgrace to the town where we make our homes. The man has to leave. You're right, Mr. Shaw. If that fellow's related to Pope, he's bound to be no good. That's right. No good. That's right. That's right. Tell you, folks, be reasonable about this. What's Jed ever done to you? Can't a fellow make an honest living? Mace, if you've got the crust to stick up for that skunk, how do we know you ain't as bad as he is? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let him out of town. Run him out of town. Oh, give the fellow a chance. He's same as a cook. Well, I'm for him. Run him out. 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 Jed? Howdy, Mace. Jed, have you heard what's happening tonight? What? Shaw's called a meeting in the town hall. 
He's roused up every narrow-minded idiot in Titusville. They're going to decide what to do about you. Oh. Jed, I want you to know something. Yeah? Shaw carries a heap of weight. And there's plenty of folks in this town that ain't above holding again a man what he can't no ways help. They seem to enjoy getting mad about one thing or another. But we ain't all like that. And you've got friends here you ain't never met. Well, thanks, Mace. That all you wanted to say? Mm, not quite. I just want to add that I'm going to that meeting myself. And what I'm going to say will be plenty. Uh, looks like the whole town has taken sides, huh? They are. Folks that was friends are mad at each other. Just because they got the quarreling over me. What do you mean, Jed? Oh, nothing special. How soon's the meeting to be? It's getting underway right now. Well, you go on down to it, Mace. Sure. Go on. And maybe I'll be there myself before it's over. Jed had realized clearly what was taking place in town. Titusville had divided sharply over the issue of whether or not he was desirable as a citizen. And in the town hall that night, short tempers and shouted arguments made the place a bedlam. Shaw, who had appointed himself the chairman of the meeting, had difficulty in making himself heard. Great friends, wait! Let's have order here. Quiet, everyone! Please, quiet! There's no reason for this. We can decide what we'll do without quarreling among ourselves. Now, let's try to remain orderly. I don't see why we're here at all. Why don't we just march over to this fellow Samson's place? Give him his marching orders. Why don't they, huh? Folks, why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? Say that? that sounds like you talking, Jake. You're just that big a fool. You'd better start looking out for yourself before you say you're going to run anybody else out of town. Throw him out! Quiet! Quiet! Hold on, folks! Golly, you're just making a pack of idiots out of yourself. Matter of fact, I don't see what was the necessity of this gathering anyhow. I call this meeting because I don't intend to see Titusville made to hang out for crooks. Oh, Jed's a crook. Huh? He comes from a bad family. He might turn crooked any time. He'll have to move on. We can't feel safe as long as he's here. Can I say a couple of words, gents? That's the polecat now. He's got his nerve coming here. Hey, Jed, I'm for you. Let him talk, friends. We'll hear what he has to say. Folks, what I have to say won't take long, so I'll ask you not to interrupt till I finish. I came here hoping to make an honest living. I didn't see anything sinful in being related to a crook. It being something I couldn't help. And I still don't. But I've been thinking things over. Before I came here, Titusville was a peaceful town. Everybody friends with everybody else. But that's all been changed. And it's my fault. We hear Mr. Shaw and May saying things to each other they'd never have dreamed of saying a couple of days ago. Neighbors ain't speaking because they've took sides over me. And there's even been families come close to busting up because they couldn't agree. Well, folks, I come here to settle down, not to rile things up. I don't want to get all you neighbors to fighting. I don't figure my staying or leaving is worth it. So here's what I really come to say. I'm pulling stakes. I'll leave as quick as I can sell. And I hope when I'm gone, you'll all be friends again. The bank will buy your place. You can leave tomorrow. I reckon that'll be satisfactory, Mr. Shaw. Jed, you can't do it. Don't be a fool. I told you you've got friends behind you. Ain't everybody as narrow-minded as some. I'm for you, Jed. Are you There you see, Mace. Quarreling again. Nope, I reckon I'd better just keep traveling. That's very wise. Hey, a masked man! You're not leaving. What the? You're coming with me. I don't know what you. Jed, he's got you covered. So, is this some of your work? I never saw the fellow before. But I don't know what. Are you coming willingly, Jed, or do I go after you? Stay here, Jed. We'll rush him. With the chance of some of these folks getting hurt? Nope, I'll see what he wants. You needn't worry. You can put them guns away, stranger. I'm coming. Maybe. Maybe that mass man's his brother. Maybe. Maybe that's Pook Samson. Don't think so. I've heard Pook described. Wouldn't fit that fella at all. And who is he? Silver. I see. Who could that fella be? Who? I don't know. <laughs> but I've got my suspicions. <laughs> 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. The Lone Ranger, accompanied by Jed and Tonto, did not return to camp, but rode only far enough from town to discourage pursuit. Oh, oh, this'll win. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, fella. Oh, this'll do. Get down, Jed. I don't reckon this is a hold-up. It isn't. Well, would I be talking out of turn if I was to ask just what you want with me? I heard you tell them in the hall that you were leaving town. Uh Uh-huh, that's right. Why? If you heard that much, I reckon you know why. To let things settle down again. To stop them folks fighting. I don't want all the time to be making trouble. Where will you go when you leave? Oh, I don't know. Ain't give that no thought. I'll find some place, though. In the West? Sure. Do you think you'll have a better chance of keeping your relationship to Pope hidden there than you have here? Huh? What do you mean? You don't intend to lie about it, do you? About Pope being my brother? Nope, stranger, I don't. I made up my mind to that a long time ago. I sure ain't going out of my way to advertise the fact, Kenny. But neither am I going to deny it when it's put up to me fair and square. Then, in other words, what has just happened here in Titusville is almost certain to happen again wherever you go. Oh, I don't know. If it hadn't been for that fellow Shaw, I'd... Make no mistake about it. There's a fellow like Shaw in every community, big or small. Just the same, I don't... You'll always have this trouble until you remain one place long enough to face it out. You don't intend to always run away each time this is discovered, do you? No. Leastways, I sure don't like to think I'll have to. Then stay here. But those folks are fighting with each other. Well, that's not your responsibility. It's theirs. Stay here and make a place for yourself. Say, stranger, just who are you? What's my troubles got to do with you? Well, that doesn't matter. But I'd still You don't... most likely wouldn't believe me if I told you. I want to know just one thing. Are you or aren't you staying there was one thing you said. Yes? That about it not mattering where I went. They'd always find out Poke was my brother. There'd always be trouble again. And if I didn't face it, I'd always be pulling stakes. You know, stranger, I'd never give it much thought before. But I reckon that's so. Believe me, Jed, it is. And, well, in spite of everything, I've kind of taken a liking to this town. And stay in it. By golly. By golly, I will. Oh, oh, Scott, oh, fella. Oh. Get him back to town, all right, Tanner? Ah? Are you helping? Yes, Kimasabi. I'll do it. I've heard that Shaw's wife is just as tolerant as her husband is intolerant. That she herself would like to see her husband brought to his senses. Not good. And tomorrow we call on her. Ah. I have a plan I'm convinced she'll welcome. Early the following day, Banker Shaw walked up the steps and across the porch of Jed's store... Stern, self-righteous, he threw open the door and marched inside. Oh, morning, Mr. Shaw. What'd it be for you? I came to keep the promise I made you at the meeting last night. Huh? Promise? When you agreed to leave town, I promised to purchase this store so that you could leave at once. Well, I'm a man of my word. Tell me what you'll take. I warn you, however, <laughs> the price... Oh, that... what I said last night, huh? Well, Mr. Shaw, I've thought things over since then and I've changed my mind. Decided I like it too well here in Titusville to leave. So you won't have to buy me out. You won't leave? That's about the size of it. Simpson, have you any idea what you're doing? Yeah, a right tolerable one, I reckon. You're defying me. That's so. I told you before I wouldn't have it. Well, looks to me like you're going to have it whether you like it or not. Simpson, I'm going to give you one more chance to change your mind again. To say I'll go? Yes. And if I don't take it... You... 
You'll be run out of town. Maybe you'll be run out of town on a rail. Mr. Shaw. Well? Bring on your rail. Hey, you... I've lost all patience with you, Samson. I gave you your chance. You can't say I didn't. Now I'll warrant you'll be a mighty sorry man you didn't take it. Hey, wait. Oh, got better of it, eh? Uh-huh. I just wanted to say, don't slam that door. Hey, you... <laughs> Jed! <laughs> What's the matter, Mace? That's what I want to know. Seen Shaw him here, and just now passed him going out. Looking black as thunder. What happened? <laughs> oh, I just told him I wasn't going to sell. That I decided to stay in town after all. Deep and catfish. Huh? That's gone and done it. What do you mean, Maze? Well, you've just the same as told him he don't amount to anything. He'd boasted all over town about how he'd scare you into agreeing to go. Now he'll have to eat his words or... Or what? Or make them come true. Which will mean trouble aplenty and pronto. You mean you think You'll that... You'll be hearing from that hombre again before you can take a deep breath. But, me, He'll sir. round up them idiots that was hollering for your hide last night and have them back here in a jiffy. I'll have to hurry, Jed. See as quick as I can. Uh, Mace, what are you going to do? Shaw sure ain't the only one that can round up his friends. I'm going to do the same. Uh, no, Mace, don't. I'll be back before you can see Jack Robinson. And then if them other hombres want trouble, they'll get it. Wait. Goodbye. <laughs> After Shaw had left Jed's store, his first thought was to keep the law on his side. He went directly to the cafe where the sheriff was standing at the bar. Sheriff! Oh, Sheriff! Well, good morning, Mr. Shaw. Good morning. What can I do for you? Sheriff, me? I'm here to take a, make a complaint against Samson. I want you to tell me to leave town to go to jail. Huh? A complaint? Do you mind telling me... Do that? I have to think up a complaint myself? Can't you think of something... What are you supposed to do? Be acquainted with the law for? Well, I... Is that um... going to leave town? Well, he said he was. What's the idea, anyway? He think we didn't mean business when we told him to get? He isn't leaving. He defied me to my face. It's, it's the same as if he had defied all of you. Let's all go down to his store. Come on, we'll show him where he had been. the skunk a lesson. Well, Sheriff, what are you going to do? Are you with us? Well, the evidence against him is as plain as day. Yes, Got folks so mad at him, they're going to make trouble, ain't he? They'll make trouble. Well, if he won't get, I'll charge him with inciting a riot. Come on! Yeah. Come on! But meanwhile, Mace had rallied the men of the town who were sympathetic to Jed and brought them to the store. They took their stand in the street with Mace and Jed in the front rank. When the mob poured out of the cafe... They're coming. Every no-good bum in town with them. With the sheriff in the lead. Jed, this will maybe be worse even than I figured. Maybe you'd better make yourself scarce someplace. I've asked you fellas not to turn this into a fight. You could have saved your breath. But if you won't do that, well, I reckon I'm just as good a fighter as the next fella. I'll be in there swinging along with the rest of you. Hey there! You fellas better turn around and go back where you come from. Come on, men. Come on. All right, if you want to fight, come ahead. Hey, you and your friends stay out of this. We're handling this all free and legal. I'll just bet you are. Jed Sampson, you've been inciting the folks of this town to riot. That's a criminal offense under the laws of this state. But I aim to be square with you. Get out of town, Will, and I'll forget it. If you don't, yeah. you'll go to jail. No, I won't. He's riding the rail. I got the rail right here. And here's the tar and feather. Yeah. Try and use him. Come on and try. Grab this gun. Hand him. Get by. Hide him out of town. Hide him out of town. Oh, what the? Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Oh, Bob, save me. Oh, Bob. My wife. A fellow on the paint scar. He's took her prisoner. Out of my way. Jed, hey, wait. Samson, hold on there. That's my horse you're taking. If you ain't got the sense to use it, I will. Get him. What in you the... yeller skunks? Don't you see what Jed's doing? He's going after that fellow alone. Come on, let's give him a hand. Hey. Come on. Oh, oh, scout. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Jack. No, Tonto. Keep out of sight behind these rocks. Ah. Down. Uh, they're coming. Look, there's Jed Sampson. I told you he'd be the first to realize what had happened. Do, do you think he recognized you? Do you think he'll he get... He saw me on silver and with a mask. This time I rode Scout, wore a disguise, and got rid of my mask. I'm sure he didn't recognize me. He believes you're really in danger. But what'll we do? Get behind they... those rocks with Tato. But they'll fire at you. You'll be injured. They won't fire while you're here. Too dangerous. Get behind cover. We'll let them think Scout went lame, was tired, anything. They'll never suspect that we stopped here on purpose. Yes. Get back! Turn back or I'll fire! Back there, Tango! Back when I have a chance! Go on, shoot! Fire overhead! Right. Oh, don't! He's in no danger. My shots didn't come within a dozen feet of him. That was a warning! Turn back when you still have the chance! Take this! And now your guns are empty! You, you Here we come from battle! I'll fix you, yeah. I'll show you! Uh, 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 uh. It all right. But, but who is this? You recognize me now, Jed? But your voice, you... You're the masked man I talked to. I am. Then what are you it's doing? all right, Jed. He did it for you to give you a chance to prove yourself. And I wanted to show my husband that he was wrong about you. Well, I'll be... They're wrong coming, wrong. Jed. You don't have to explain this. Let them think we got the drop on you and escape without having time to take Mrs. Shaw with us. Here, Silver. But hold on, stranger. Jed, if Shaw still wants to run you out of town after you rode to save his wife single-handed... He may find that he'll be run out of town himself. I Hip. can't let him. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come away. Oh, oh, Jed, it's all right. Do as he said. Don't explain, please. You'll spoil everything. But gosh, man, it don't seem hardly right to let them think he was really kidnapped. But you thought he was, and still you rode here, although he might have shot you. I don't know what... Oh, you can't say anything, and you won't. Oh, 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 oh. I know you're all right. Well, you hurt to death, Phyllis. I... I'm quite all right, Bob. Thanks to Jed here... Uh, Yes. Yes, Jed. Look here, Samson. Yeah, Mr. Shaw. I, I'm afraid I've had you size the ball wrong. I, I'm afraid I've made something of a fool out of myself. That's just putting it mild. You'd have run Jed from town. And yet out of the whole bunch of us, he was the only one to think fast enough to get your missus back. Samson, I won't forget this. But Mr. No, Shaw... No, don't say a thing about it. I know you want to say it was nothing, but it was. And I'll be grateful to you as long as I live. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>